Append up X to report that the enemy is falling back, sir. They're on the run. Very well, Lieutenant. Sir, General Early says the enemy's caved in on the left flank and are heading back to Gettysburg. They're all running. Very well, thank you, Corporal. Henry? Sir? I want you to find General Hill's chief of artillery. Yes, sir. Tell him I want fire placed on that hill, as much fire as possible. Yes, sir. Very well. Major Taylor? Yes, sir. I want you to deliver this message in person. Find General Yule, tell him the federal troops are withdrawn in confusion. It is only necessary to push those people in order to gain possession of those heights. Tell him to take that hill if practicable. The ones beyond the town. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir. Very well. Ah! General, I want you to see this. General Lee, it seems like Sikkim and Ass is all over again. It not work out any better if we can plan it. The only thing I want done now, if we can take that hill, is have it occupied by nightfall. Sir, sir, the Federal Army has fallen back through Gettysburg. They are reforming on the ridges outside of town. Very well. This is almost perfect. Now we got them where we want them. Let's move south and east down the road, get between them and Lincoln, find some good high ground, and then they'll have to hit us. They'll have to. And then we have them, General. Then we have them. You mean disengage? Well, sir, I've always been under the impression that it was our strategy to conduct a defensive campaign wherever possible in order to keep the army intact. Well, granted, but the situation has changed now. In what way? We've already pushed them back. They're on the run, vacating the town. How can we move off to the south and the east in the face of the enemy? Major Marshal. Yes, sir. I ordered fine on that hill, but there are no cannon firing. Kind of send over and find out why. Yes, sir, I'll see to you, sir. Thank you. What are you thinking, General? Maybe we should not have fought here. I know that, but we have prevailed. The men have prevailed. Yes, sir, they have always done that. But in the morning, we may be outnumbered, and they'll be entrenched on the high ground. General, you know as well as I, we have never concerned ourselves with being outnumbered. Well, that is true, sir. You are right. But if we move south to Washington, they have to pursue us, and then we can fight on ground of our choosing. But the enemy is here. We did not want the fight, but the fight is here. How can I ask this army to retreat in the face of what they have done this day? Not retreat, sir. Redeploy. Our guns will move them off that hill, or you will push them off. But if Meade is there tomorrow, I cannot move this army away. No, sir, I will attack him. General, if Meade is up there tomorrow, it is because he wants us to attack him. We push back two corps, but there are five more coming. General, I will... Bring out my boys as soon as I can. Very well. General? Sir. Uh, your man Harrison, the actor, was quite correct. Had it not been for his report, this entire army might have been destroyed in detail. It might have been that the whole federal force would have been here waiting when we turned around. I'm deeply grateful to you, sir. 